hello viewers i welcome you all from hld of tech channel and today we are going to talk about the uh, custom list in sharepoint uh, after document library custom lists are uh, you can say the most commonly used uh, app that is available in out of box solution uh, in sharepoint 2019 on premise <coughs> so uh, let us uh, take an example that we have this web application if you remember we created it in, in our previous videos uh, if we go into the uh, one of the site collection that is HR department and here in HR department you can see that there are some navigation links on the left uh, navigation pane and uh, one of them is documents and this is the document library and if we talk about the HR department main page this is the main page now what I want to do I want to uh, create a custom list in uh, this site collection so what I'm going to do I'm going into uh, site contents here uh, already available site contents are shown and this is the option for creating new I'm going to click new and click app so viewers these are uh, available apps you can see that there are different type of apps that are available in out-of-box solution in SharePoint on-premise environment so what I'm going to do I'm going to click on custom list and I'm going to name it uh, let's say that I want to say employer record EMP record okay this will be the uh, custom list and whatever the name I select will also be selected as a uh, URN let me show you here you can see that I selected this name so this was also uh, mentioned in the URL and now this is the access URL of uh, this list I'm going to copy it and add it as a navigation link of employees record will be the display name of this navigation link I'm going to click OK and save so wherever I am in this uh, site collection I can just click and quickly navigate to that custom list now uh, I am going into list settings and now I am going to change the name of this as a proper name of the custom list employ record okay and I am going to click on save the question that may be coming in your mind uh, at this point may be that why I didn't change it at the time of creation at the time of creation of this custom list I selected a very short name that was uh, EMP record because I want my URL that is to be created at uh, that is created at the time of creation of a custom list is uh, maybe short one I don't want that a longer uh, URL may be there so, so uh, for that purpose I use a very short name and after that I rename it so that the URL may not be affected so in this way uh, I created the employees record uh, custom list and whenever you create a custom list if we go into list settings there are some uh, columns that are created by default if I click on all items in the views you can see that these are the columns that are created at the time of creation of custom list you can uh, hide or show the columns depending upon your uh, requirement let's say I want that uh, these fields may also be available and attachment field may, be all, may also be available so after changing them you can see that the view has been changed 
we have already uh, compiled a video of our the customization of views or creating custom views and that uh, video is already available in my channel list you can quickly uh, go through my channel and watch that video for uh, for familiarization with the custom views okay now if i again go into edit current view and hide all of these except the title and click ok this is the uh, default uh, template or this is the default view whenever you create a custom list now i want to add some columns okay i am going to add some columns here for example title will be the name and after that i want uh, that some more columns may be available so what I'm going to do, I'm going to create column and I'm going to select the prefix, okay. I will try to show every data type uh, column in uh, this video so that you may have better idea of all type of columns. These are the available types of columns and for prefix let's say i want to select mr or mrs or anything else what i'm going to do i'm going to select the choice for choice there may be multiple options in uh, the form of drop down so i will select mr after a space i will select mrs and uh, last i will select miss okay so these are uh, three types of commonly used uh, prefix for your name and I want to show them in the drop down menu. Uh, normally radio buttons and check boxes are used when you want to select uh, multiple option set. Okay, we will also talk about them. So uh, this is the prefix. I'm going to click OK. And now I'm going to create one more column for DOB date of birth for date of birth you know that it is a date and time column and I want to specify the date only because in uh, date of birth you normally mention the date not the time okay so required that this column contains information I will uh, keep this column mandatory and I don't want to enforce unique values and uh, display format will be standard or friendly and default value you can also select the default value that today and I will click on OK so uh, I have created prefix date of birth and then I will create one more column that will be uh, I have created the choice one I will uh, create it uh, number number is simple you know that it is a simple field you can specify the numbers in this you can also select the currency let's say that uh, I want to pay pay scale okay just for example I'm giving you and you can specify the minimum value for example the minimum value for your uh, company's uh, lower grade employees is 500 and it may be the maximum may be 50,000 so this is the currency value and this is the currency format you can specify different type of formats I am keeping it to the dollar and I'm going to click OK similarly I'm going to add one more column that is commonly used that will be uh, yes no personal group personal group is the column that specifies the information from your uh, available users uh, I will say that it is user ID it is a personal group required that this column contains information I am keeping it mandatory and I'm enforcing unique values so that the rows may not be repeated for some particular field and I'm going to select only people show field 
what do you want to show the field I want to show it uh, with the ID and I'm going to click OK uh, yes this is an important thing whenever you enforce unique values uh, the column must be indexed so I'm going to click on indexing column okay now I'm going to create one more column for the field of uh, let's say um, the most commonly used I will talk multiple lines of text in my next video this is a big portion okay I think it's fine and now I'm going to go into the list and see okay now these fields which, which we have created so far are now visible and now I want to click on new title I will say uh, it will be a mr. John he will be a mr. okay this is the drop down uh, if you remember we created it uh, earlier his date of birth will be let's say his date of birth will be this one after that I will specify the pay scale uh, his pay will be let's say 15,000 and who he will log log manager okay this will be the user ID and I'm going to click save so my first value has been saved successfully in newly created form or uh, my custom list and in this way you can add multiple records there is also uh, another way of quick edit you can also add uh, your additional records just like you created is with the just like you work in excel files for example I name uh, madam uh, one name of some girl Sony she will be a miss and her date of birth will be let's say the calendar is not so friendly it's giving me some time and her pay scale will be 25,000 let's say I exceed the value and uh, I am also mentioning the HRMGR if I only say HR let's see it is mandatory so what I'm going to do I'm going to see the available options set from my active directory log manager HR manager so I'm going to select finance manager okay so this way you can also uh, add a record it's showing me uh, I've done a little mistake because uh, if you remember I specified the value must be between 500 to 50,000 and I have the value is exceeded so it's not allowing me to save the data so I will alter it and after that I will click it save so in this way you can also save the data as per requirement I thank you all guys for watching the video and please subscribe my channel and enjoy watching more videos